Primordia. What a great little point and click adventure. It came out in December 2012, but it hit my radar not until summer last year. Calling myself not really in PNC Adventure Pro, the whole genre went under my radar until the last year. It would have been a shame if I have missed this little gem, but why is that? First of all, the game won't lose itself in its side plots or distract you from the protagonist's main objective that is quite simple at the beginning and turns out to affect more machines or androids than just him and his awesome sidekick. Your first objective is to get your stolen parkour back, which is needed to refuel your aircraft with energy. Soon you'll discover that the hostile robot who has stolen your parkour got to the city called Metropole. Once you arrive in Metropole, the plot evolves around greater conflicts and a much nastier twist. The city is won by an AI controlling the minds of the robots and making them to function as the AI needs in order to keep running. Okay, so much for that. The game is somewhat short but pretty straightforward as I mentioned earlier. It also has a built-in hint system characterized by your sidekick named Crispin who has been built by your protagonist Horatio. Crispin is that kind of humorous sidekick you might have known from Zork the Grand Inquisitor or the Journeyman Project 3 Legacy of Time. Always babbling, a little cowardice, but really really likable. So if you get stuck at some point it is always a good idea to talk to Crispin. It's just enough to get you back on the track rather than spoil all the puzzle fun. Crispin, that's not code. That's just gibberish. Uh, you always ruin everything, boss. 47, boss. The answer is 47. Don't you mean 42? Uh, maybe. Why do you keep asking me to figure things out? I'm just a sidekick, boss. Boss, did you ever consider that sometimes I just run out of clever ideas? And speaking of puzzles, the design is great. It is not completely inventory based since there are some mini games requiring your brain power. Solutions are logical and there are no weird item combinations. But there are two or three puzzles that pack a punch. Keep, keep guessing, boss. I'm feeling lucky. In some rare cases, there is also more than one possible solution, and there's also more than one ending. Some actions you make will affect the outcome of the story. There's no simple button pushing end like in Far Cry 3 or Deus Ex Human Revolution. In order to achieve some other ending scenes, you have to get creative. The game also covers some philosophical questions, but without exaggeration. You believe that? No. It is mere conjecture, unsupported by evidence, wishes passing for facts. But still, they are my wishes. God. God is a word, but no answer. I am what I am. An elliptic answer, a wonder and untrue. Man alone is his own essence. Thy essence comes from man. Know thyself, then return. The ratio no built, version 5. Name wonder, but thou art not. Though thou hast caused the sun, the moon, yet still it is the sun. Horatio is the name thou wearest, but is it not they? One of man's works. Thou speakest truly, wanderer, but incompletely. For if thou and nor by one of man's works, then what difference betwixt thee and junkyard scrap? As for the soundtrack, it is kind of depressive, but it definitely fits to the atmosphere. I am waiting. I'm not here to steal parts. The same goes for the beautiful hand-drawn locations, characters and items. While the visuals itself are pixelated due to fixed resolution at 640x480, I really appreciate the art design after all. Another impressive element is the top-notch voice acting. If you recall, this is an indie title from a small developer team. So if you are a die-hard PNC adventure fan, you should definitely go grab it. If you are new to those, it is as well a good start into this genre if you don't have a problem with the low resolution though. I hope this small review was giving you a little glimpse into Primordia and I'd like to hear from you what do you think about this game. I also appreciate any given feedback in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more indie and retro games coming to be reviewed.
Could you please stop bothering me? I'm trying to finish this level of Zgrid. What? You know, that puzzle game you installed on me when you built me. But look, you have your puzzles, I have mine. 